More than by fear of going astray, the Pope wishes that we will be moved by the fear of remaining shut up within structures which give us a false sense of security, within rules which make us harsh judges, within habits which make us feel safe, while at our door people are starving, and Jesus is not tired of saying to us, give them something to eat. My name is Father Mark Francis. I'm the president of Catholic Theological Union, and I'm here to reflect on uh, a part of the, the new exhortation of the Pope that speaks about images of church and God that I think are, are, are a wonderful way in which we can invite people into the communion of the church and a wonderful way of evangelizing because that was the whole purpose of the exhortation. Uh, the Pope is really concerned, Francis is very, very much concerned, about uh, offering us an image of church which goes beyond the stereotypes that sometimes people who are not Christians kind of feel sometimes about the church, that we're an organization of rules and regulations, and we're not an organization or a group of people who are open and willing to, uh, to cast away fear and to, to really take risks about uh, making the world better. Uh, he talks about uh, an image of God, and one of the, the key Im images that uh, appears time and again in this uh, exhortation is the image of God as the prodigal father. If you remember that uh, story from the Gospel of Luke about the prodigal son, it's actually it's, uh, the father's one who's prodigal, not so much the, the son, but the father who is prodigal in love for the son. And that uh, we should be open as much as we can to reaching out to the world without fear and uh, not to be afraid of forgiving, not to be afraid of opening our arms and accepting people uh, as they are into communion with the church. Um, he speaks about the church should, should have open doors. And these doors should be uh, always open so that people can, can walk in whenever they feel ready to, to, to walk in. And not just the physical doors of the church, but he speaks about the doors that are the doors of grace, the sacraments of the church. Uh, one of the things that characterized his ministry in uh, uh, Buenos Aires was the fact that he emphasized that uh, even people in kind of irregular situations who are presenting their children for baptism should not be turned away. That uh, because uh, the, the people are expressing faith, uh, even if they're not in, in regular marriages or whatever, but they're expressing the wish to have their children baptized, that these children should be baptized. And he also speaks about the Eucharist. And what he says about the Eucharist, I think, is very important. He says, the Eucharist, uh, although is the fullness of sacramental life, is not a prize for the perfect, but a powerful medicine and a nourishment for the weak. The sacraments are not simply, a, 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 as he puts it, a prize for good behavior. That the sacraments are there as an encounter with Christ to help us live our, our Christian lives. And so what the Pope is really trying to do is to do away with the fear sometimes that's associated with religion. Uh, many of us have been brought up in various ways and sometimes we get this idea that, that God is this terrible judge who is always going to be watching every little moment and, and making sure that we're towing the line. What, what the Pope is trying to say is, God is not like that. That God has this open heart for all humanity and wishes the best for all of us and, and is not this, this, this critical judge that's trying to constantly uh, judge us and, and, and trip us up. And he says because of that, we in the church also need to uh, have that attitude. That uh, he sp speaks about sometimes we Christians uh, uh, are, are people that, 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 that kind of judge, are you worthy to receive the sacrament? Are you worthy to be a member of the church? The Pope is saying, everyone is worthy. Everyone needs to be welcomed uh, with open arms. Um, and he also speaks about the church itself and how the church is supposed to act in the world. Uh, and he encourages people to take risks. And even if those risks sometimes are uh, to the point of uh, making a mistake. But it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to kind of, in, in certain a certain sense, overreach ourselves at times out of love for others. And one of the, the things he writes was when he was uh, uh, the Bishop of Buenos Aires, he said, I prefer a church 
which is bruised, hurting, and dirty because it's been out on the streets, rather than a church which is unhealthy from being confined and from clinging to its own security. The Pope is calling the church out from uh, its ivory tower, if you will, into the world, into mixing with humanity, which is at times going to be complicated and it's going to be dirty and, and there are times where we're going to make mistakes. But one of the key issues, and this is where the Pope's uh, Jesuit background comes out, when in, in the, uh, uh, the spiritual, Jesuit spirituality, Ignatian spirituality, uh, the bottom line is you never make a decision or make movements based on fear. That uh, the whole uh, spiritual life and real growth in the spiritual life comes out by putting aside fear and trusting in God. And so this is the key to, uh, one of the keys to this exhortation, and it's a way in which the gospel can truly be lived with joy.